Happy video 200! It is Saturday, July 19th, and like I promised, for video 200, there will be a Q&A with me and this fabulous guy next to me. This is Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I asked for people to submit in questions. Thank you, Project Chronicle. You guys were the only ones that did. Um, so we're going to answer them about each other, depending on how the question is worded, but we're going to be guessing what the other person thinks. So you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Meg asked, what annoys you most about the other person? You go first. Uh, probably when you don't put stuff away or leave your clothes on the floor. I am bad for that. Okay, <laughs> well, good news is we're living now in his parents' basement, so I have to be more careful about that, so maybe I will break it in the next six months. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> you don't seem very hopeful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and my what annoys me about you? Um, y you move at a glacial pace at times. Especially when we're playing Civ 5. Especially when we're playing Civ 5. <laughs> I can't move fast enough. <laughs> you really can. I do play the game more often though, so I'm wondering if that is like I just overthink just knowing all my moves or well, something. Well, the thing is, he's an overthinker, which is awesome some of the time, because he can think about all possible things that could happen, which is really good, but when I'm trying to get things going, like we're, we need to go somewhere, it's like, okay, I need to do something, I need to make sure I have everything. It's like, no, let's just go. <laughs> so... At times, he moves at a glacial pace. All right. And me, I could say the opposite about I you. I move too fast? You're moving too fast. You only fast. get one. Okay, well, then I have to think of another thing that annoys me about you. <laughs> okay. I'm just uh, responding to what oh, you said. It's fine. You. Okay. It's all good. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, Danny asked, favorite food? I'm going to say that your favorite food is pasta. I was going to say probably pasta for you as well. But uh, it might, might not be your top soup. favorite. Soup would be soup, my favorite yeah. food. <laughs> I was like, soup, pasta. Okay, what so. about you? Did I get yours right? Yeah, yeah, I would say okay. so. All right, uh, Jadine asked too, what's the nicest thing that we've done for each other? So we're going to make it what's the nicest thing that I think he's done for me and the nicest thing that he thinks I've done for him. I will say that, um, oh, I had it and now it's gone. I can say mine. Okay, go ahead. Well, I think of mine. a minute. Yeah. Uh, your wedding gift to me was pretty <laughs> awesome. They don't know about that. Tell, well, them, it was, tell them what I did. It was a letter, and it was some beautiful pictures of her. Of the boudoir nature. But it was, uh, I don't know, it was just, like, probably the most, like, intimate gift you've given me. And that, what, what, what came It was really awesome. You're missing something. What came with the pictures? The the letter? No, the, the, the part while the pictures were showing, there was something else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you recorded a bunch of songs and you you were singing them in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. And okay, I remembered mine. Um, that big beautiful Harry Potter chest that I opened up for you guys. Um, he watched eBay for weeks waiting for months. one to pop up. Mo <laughs> sorry, months <laughs> waiting for one to yeah. pop up and he snatched it for me. So that was very very sweet because I really wanted that. Um, and what is the most cliche couple thing that we do? I say we have a lot of inside jokes to the point where we kind of know what the other person's thinking. That's pretty cliche. Yeah, and I, I mean, we, we say I love you to each other all the time. And, I love you. Uh, maybe it's not as cliche, but, you know, we don't really, I love you too. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we, we're really, like, totally cool with PDA. Yeah. Like, we don't. Like, if we want to give each other mm -hmm. a kiss, we do. It mm -hmm. doesn't bother us. Completely. It usually bothers, bothers other it people. It usually bothers other people. It's kind of okay. too bad for them. Okay. But yeah. All right, the next one is from Dana. Have you ever had a dorky, sappy moment together? Every when do day. we not have dorky, sappy well, moments together? I mean, I'm kind of the... He's a tree. He's so full of sap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like the... I don't know. I think I'm like an even balance between the hopeless romantic and the actual romantic. Some of it's... Yes, even. <laughs> okay, maybe a little yeah. more yeah. on the... Uh, hopeless. A little more on the hopeless yes, side. Yes, okay. But on purpose. Okay. It's more fun that way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> maybe okay. a little too much. That's okay. Yeah. All right, Josh, Joshua asked, top three cities to live in versus top three cities to visit. Make it more fun, write it down for each other. Okay, so... Um, where are, what do you think are my top three cities to live in? We actually wrote them down. Uh, I thought, and I'll explain them too. Okay. Uh, I thought maybe New York because of the theater and the, uh, 
Okay. The uh, like same performances in the plays mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Vancouver, just because the environment yeah. is kind of right up both of our alleys. Yeah, I for think. sure. And L.A. just because of the uh, YouTube kind of. That was where you think I want to live. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say Seattle. I said for me, Seattle, Vancouver, and London. Okay. I had a. Uh, all right, and then where do you think I want to visit? I did have like uh, Western Europe for visiting, so okay. like UK, or France, okay. or Germany, or something. Like I thought, we both kind of like the like Britain and stuff, mm-hmm. so okay. I could see that as well. Uh, Florida for the Harry Potter theme park because mm. we haven't been yet, not yet. and we uh, want to go. Next well, summer. you really want to go? No, not next summer. Twenty sixteen, summer of twenty sixteen. No, we'll make it. We work. will be there. We'll make it work somehow. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then what's the other one? Uh, <laughs> I thought New Zealand. Because we could see okay. like the yeah. Lord of the Rings set. Okay. New Zealand really is on cool. mine. Okay. For my and I also said Tokyo and Wales. Yeah. Because Wales uh, is where my dad was born. He's, yeah. Was he lived there for six years before he came to Canada? Okay. So okay. sort of right about the. So for you to live, I yeah. said California. Yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. And the Maritimes. Oh okay. What All was right. the other one? Uh, yeah, I had I had California and Vancouver. I had like UK like uh. Like Western Britain Europe or something, okay. yeah. Or Western Europe, yeah. Okay. All right. And then to visit, I said Tokyo, London, and New Zealand. It's pretty close. I had, uh, I just had like Japan okay. in general, but mm-hmm. that's probably where we would be. Uh, Western Europe. Okay. Uh, and then like California or Florida. Okay. Like basically theme parks mm-hmm. or going to like BlizzCon or something like that oh, would be. Yeah. Would be <laughs> that would be great. So I I times, think so. we have very similar ideas of where we want to live, which is good. Yeah, I think we're pretty. Okay. Pretty so on thank you, point. Josh. And then Matt gave us eleven. I picked two because Matt, I love you, but no. Um, <sighs> all right. So favorite easily recited quote that the other person loves. Okay, you do yours first. What do you think is the quote that I love? Oh, now I'm gonna forget mine. Uh. Oh, I got it. Okay, go. Snape, Snape, <laughs> Severus Snape. Dumbledore. Okay. Yeah, because you then, really like that video. Uh, it's so hysterical. Um, for those who don't know, time. it's the uh, mysterious ticking noise by the Potter Puppet Pals. It's fantastic. Go check it out. It's amazing. Puppet show. All right. And <laughs> then I said for him, um, I can't do the voice right. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> yeah. From Diablo 2? Diablo? Uh, it's kind of... It's it's Deckard Cain. Okay. Like Deckard Cain. Basically all three. And favorite book. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Okay. Um, you don't read as much as I do, so I had problems thinking of one. I was thinking the Dragon Ball manga. Yeah, probably. I'm a crazy Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z fan. So. You are. Well, wait, 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 what do you like, think? I think I like it as much as you like Harry Potter. That's a little scary. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, what is it? Would you say that's your favorite book or? Uh. I didn't even think of that, but yeah, probably. Yeah? What were you going to say then? Uh, one of the Harry Potters or uh, Inheritance. Oh, yeah. Somewhere yeah, in there, so like a, like Aragon okay. or something. I, I right. like those two. So there you have it, guys. That is a... I don't even think I'm going to edit it. I don't think it'll be worth it. It's eight minutes. That's pretty good. Eight and a half. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't know when you'll see his handsome face again, because I usually do my videos in the morning, but we moved all day, so I... We did this once we got it settled up and got the computer set up because that was the first thing we set up were computers. So this oh, is all nicely course. set up. Yeah, the lighting totally. is, eh, I don't know how I feel about the lighting, but it'll do. Hair is good a hair, cause, like always, but yeah, I'm nice and dried and white and weird. But anyway, work. lighting wasn't that fantastic at my other place anyway. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. You know the deal. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.